UK YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today I've got a new Gigapan to show you. This is from Soul 170, Master Right, Perseverance, latest, well, one of the latest. There are one or two more that I've done since this one, but this one has got lots of stuff in it worth looking at. And I'm going to show you that now. Now I'm not going to go through the whole Gigapan because it will take too long. What I've done is I've taken the clips of my, my best finds in, in here so far and I've stuck them on the side here. So you can check them out. The first one, which some of you may have seen already, because I put this on Mars Magazine, is this thing here, which looks a bit like some kind of weird uh, marine mammal or something, a carving of one. It may not be, of course, but it does resemble what looks a bit like sort of a manatee or, or a hippo or some kind of weird sort of quasi-marine mammal or marine mammal of some sort. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of comparing it to things we know about. There's also this weird jumble of rocks here with a head stuck on the side here, just here. This one here, look. It's just kind of stuck there, mounted on the side of this thing here. And it's got some weird details in there. I'll show you a bit more on that in a minute. There's this one here, which looks like an, a, a large head. See an eye here and an eye here. There's the nose and the mouth, okay. I'll show you that in more detail in a sec. There's this weird round one, which has got this part sticking out. Looked to me initially a bit like a turtle's head sticking out. I don't think it is. It's just shaped a bit like that. Very strange. And there's some weird details in that. But a lot of this stuff is quite a long way off. And um, it may look close in this image, but it's not. This is probably over two, three, four hundred feet away or something. I don't know exactly. It could be up to about a quarter of a mile away from the rover, but the, the, the camera zoomed in a bit to give the impression it's, it's closer, but it's not. And the lighting isn't that good on this day. It's not as bright as some of them. It's a bit grungy, colour-wise. And the, and the rocks are sort of all kind of blended in uh, with this kind of um, orangey, dusty sand over all them that we normally see. But there's loads of weird things in here. And some of these look like they've been water eroded quite heavily eroded with water. So obviously a lot of these larger rocks were probably underwater. And uh, as the lake dried out, um, the civilization kind of built on the lake bed and turned it into a town or city. And uh, this is part of it, it seems. And um, there's also this one here, which is leaning over. Very weird. We've got a head there and an arm coming down here. I'll show you that a in more detail in a minute. And this one was just like a weird jumble of shapes. It seems to have some weird sort of thing carved into it, some kind of design. I don't really understand what it is, but it's interesting, okay? So I've got it up in my graphics processing thing here. Now, um, I'm just gonna point these things out quickly. And there's one or two other things I wanna show you, but let's do this first. Um, there we are. Now, this is that composite I just showed you. This is what I'm calling the manatee. So there's the back coming over. This to me looks like a snout, almost like a trunk, a short trunk like you would see on a manatee. And this, I think, represents the eye. And we've got these, what look like limbs here. Perhaps. And it's attached to this rock here. All right. You've got some detail here, and there, and then and there. So there's some interesting stuff going on here, and uh, it seems to be attached to this, which seems to go down into the ground here. Okay, we got some weird details showing up in front of it. This probably means it goes right down like that, right? It could be on a column, on a plinth of some sort that's buried. It looks like it's sort of attached to something there, okay? So I don't know what sort of animal that is. It's very strange, but the only thing I can really compare it to that, that I know of would be a manatee with this kind of sort of short trunk-like uh, snout on the front. But I could be very wrong on that. I'm just kind of guessing, really. We can only compare to what we know, okay? Um, unless you come from another planet and you have better knowledge of these things, then uh, fine, but uh, <laughs> we come from Earth and we can only compare to things we have on Earth. Right, there's this one with the head stuck on it. Weird jumble of rocks. This was interesting because this looks like it's stuck on here. 
right? Got a big eye there and a big eye there. So it looks like some of the primitive art you see in sort of Central and South America, pre, some of the sort of pre-Inca stuff and, and the, the, the pre-Mayan stuff, like some of the, uh, even pre-Olmec, I would say. Really quite primitive. But what we may be seeing is, is very eroded, very, very old artwork that's extremely eroded. There seems to be a row of teeth and a couple of nostrils here. Um, it's a bit further over that one. It's one there and one there. So it's a bit irregular. We've got inner eye detail here as well. Very strange. And some weird shapes here. I can't make them out very well. But what I'll do is I'll darken it up in a minute. Actually, I'll darken it up now. Let's go back in. Let's make that a lot darker. And those should pop out. Let's go in some contrast. And go quite dark. And again, let's do it a few times until it goes nice and dark. And then these details will really pop. Now you can see those shapes in here. There's a circle here with a hole in it. And there's a weird sort of body-like thing to this thing. And that comes down like that. So this may represent some kind of body or something. Not really sure. But there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. And um, some of these are just really, really strange. But obviously they're very old. I would say they're about 100,000 years old. But of course, the erosion's different on Mars, obviously, because they have much lower air pressure, not quite as low as I think NASA say it is, right? Which is apparently less than 1% of ours. I think it's more like getting on for 15 or 20% of ours. If the copter flies around with such ease, I know the, um, the copter blades on Ingenuity are, are much faster than the average helicopter on Earth. Um, they're something like five times faster, but if they're five times faster than ours, then I would say that um, the air on Mars is probably about five times thinner. Okay, just on that basis alone, it's probably not quite that much. It's probably something like more like ten percent of our atmosphere rather than one percent. But it's definitely more than one percent because that helicopter would not be buzzing around at such speed and agility. That it, that it is, if, unless that was the case, okay? So, the, here's the head thing at the bottom here. Um, unfortunately, not a great angle on this, and it's not that clear, but here's the nose. Nostril. Nose coming right down like that. Big nose. Mouth with what looks like teeth detail here. A possible beard with lighter coloured rock here. Thick brow ridge, eye here, inner eye detail, and the eyebrow comes around like that. Okay, and you can see sort of smile um, creases here, like you would get on the human face. So, this represents some kind of humanoid or something, I would say. Strange point to the head, and it comes down almost straight at the back and then round like that. And there are some sort of details here which I'm not really sure about this may represent hair or a, some kind of helmet or something coming down here rather weird not really sure about that it's very reflective this part so that may represent a beard just and hair who knows um, they were coloring some of these rocks or using specific types of clay or rock that were certain colors in some of these Sculptures, okay, as I've shown in Gale Crater, um, like the uh, the Mars Emperor that I now refer to as Emperor Ming, um, has got a black beard, not a white whitish beard like this, but a lot of them do have beards, okay, as I've shown before. Then there's this thing, the weird round thing, with this weird part sticking out here. Now I thought initially that was a turtle, but I don't think it is. It it's just a bit turtle shaped, and this is almost perfectly round, and I would imagine. This goes down into the ground, like this. And this part here is probably nothing to do with it. It's just a, a piece of rock that's there. Uh, but who knows? It's very different in luminosity and colour. So I would say this is not part of it, okay? That's my guess. Um, but we can't be 100% on that. But there's some weird details in here. I don't fully understand it. There's weird stuff going on in here. 
There's this part coming down here, like this, with parts here, all right? We've also got details here, all right? Interesting. And this has got like a, what may, what may represent an eye here and another one here, and a mouth, like a turtle. So who knows? Some of these are obviously not animals, but it does seem that they were carving animal shapes and, and uh, faces into a lot of their objects, whether they were um, things like uh, containers or, or whatever. Um, who knows? Um, I'm not saying this is an, an actual animal, but they, they do seem to have been carving representations of animals onto almost everything. Uh, very strange indeed. Now, here's that leaning one. Um, now, this is weird. If I show it in here, the leaning one is just here. And you can see, even in the raw image, quite clearly, just there, it's not very big. It's kind of leaning. We've got a head here and an arm coming down here, down the side, and what looks like a body joined coming right down. All right? So let's go back to that. This is very strange. Not very clear. It's a long way off and it's not that big. But the head comes around like that. There's an ear. Eye here. Eye here. And there, quite a long nose coming to there. Then a mouth. And what seems to be an arm there. With a sleeve at the top. Shoulder. Body. Coming down like this. And some kind of join there that may represent clothing of some sort. I don't know. Uh, there are some interesting details here that look a bit like folds. Okay, so that was interesting. A leaning statue, and it's leaning against this thing, which is also very strange. I don't quite understand what this is. Here, it's very odd. This is kind of. It looks like it's joined to this. Here. Right. So this was probably part of a building, I would imagine, like a wall or something. Uh, very odd, very odd indeed. And um, some of these things are just super weird. And there was this weird one at the top here, which I don't fully understand. It looks like a weird jumble of rocks, but it's got something carved into it here. And some strange design on it, okay? Which looks kind of technical. I don't know what it represents, absolutely no idea, but there's something very strange about it. I don't quite understand it. There's interesting stuff going on in here. Um, very odd, that one. Not really sure what to make of that, but it looks like some kind of weird carving representing something or other. I don't know what. So we have at least six things here. There are probably loads more in this image that I haven't picked out yet, uh, but these were the clearest ones to me anyway. So we've got the thing that looks like a bit like a manatee. We've got that weird jumble of rocks there. We've got the head stuck on this thing here with the big googly eyes. We've got the leaning statue. We've got the large head here with the long nose, which is similar to the royal nose that we see on some of the large statues in Gale Crater. The long nose, okay? That kind of points down a bit like Prince Charles. And then obviously the chin coming round. There's the mouth. And the big eye, the sort of big heavy brow. So this represents some kind of person. Not sure who. And probably a beard. And then we've got this weird round thing with the turtle head kind of thing sticking out. Very interesting. This may represent some kind of container. Who knows? It's got some weird things on it. So have a good look at these things. Use the magnifier. If you haven't got the magnifier, it's really simple. Just look it up. It's called um, Hover Zoom. Uh, I've been using this for about, uh, getting on for a year now. Loads of people are using it now. It's really good. It's, it's free. Just look it up. Uh, magnifying glass, Hover Zoom. You can get it for Chrome or any, pretty much any browser. It's really good. And um, you can set the level of zoom on it as well. And you can see these things in here. There's that leaning one. And uh, the one, the weird sort of one stuck on, the stuck on the head, there. This is completely raw, I haven't done anything to this. What I did was enlarge it. There it is, stuck on there. You can see that weird body shape, or something going on. Weird, very strange indeed. But what you've got to remember is, this stuff is probably very, very old indeed. 
I would say about 100,000 years old. And the reason it doesn't look that eroded is because obviously the air pressure isn't as dense as ours. And there's hardly, there's either no rain or probably rain, rains once in a, once in about every 10 years or something. Um, so that is why these things are still intact and uh, they're not that eroded. And of course, they may have been underwater as well at some point. So this may have been flooded and then the civilization built on it as it receded the water in the lake bed. And uh, these are remnants of some of the things, some of the architectural um, sculptures that are left behind for some reason. Okay, I mean this may may even be a graveyard. Now. Uh, it may be used as a graveyard, and these may, may be grave markers that have kind of leaned over, like they often do in graveyards. They often end up leaning over. So who knows? But there's loads and loads of weird things in here. And I'm sure a lot of these are heads and stuff and carvings, but I haven't even been through them all yet. And uh, some of them are a bit small and a bit and a bit uh, eroded away, but I'm sure there's probably dozens more in here that I haven't shown. We've got this ridge line at the back. Interesting stuff going on up here. Interesting kind of formation going on here. This probably represents a structure just here. And uh, there's another one over here as well. So check it out. Lots of stuff to show here. I will be doing some more videos later in the week. I only did one last week. What I, what I often do now is I'll do one really long video instead of two shorter ones, uh, depending on what I'm doing on the, at the time. Because sometimes it's easier to throw everything in one video rather than do lots of shorter ones and then have to edit them all together, you know. So there we are. Lots of weird stuff to see here. Very strange indeed. I don't fully understand what a lot of these things are, but we shouldn't expect to. These things are alien. They're Martian, but they do look quite familiar to us because we may have actually come from there, or at least some of us may have done thousands of years ago. When the cataclysm hit Mars, they probably escaped some of them and came to Earth, okay? And this may explain why so many people on Earth don't really feel very at home here and also struggle with the gravity, struggle with back problems, knee problems and, and all sorts of ailments due to the higher gravity down here. Also a lot of people like myself who are sort of disabled and also are asthmatic as well. A lot of us are, have terrible allergies where you know, we can't even go outside a lot of the time. Uh, you know, it's very strange how we, if we're supposedly adapted to this planet, how we're suddenly all becoming very ill. What's going on? Is it a change in the environment or is it that we never really adapted properly to this environment? Did we ever really adapt? Or are we just now being forced to adapt into a system that we weren't really designed for? Okay, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you soon.